Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about La Shaw. I love it when I get to review La Shaw. So I saw that La Shaw had their summer and spring collection in mini form um, on Trans Design, and for some reason their spring collection didn't show up there for a while on Trans Design. So when I did that review, unfortunately a lot of you guys couldn't find it to purchase it for a little while, which I was bummed about. I was like, hey guys, come on, get it together. Um, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know it is there now. Sorry, I had a little hair on me. It was distracting. It is there now as well as their summer collection. And so I, of course, snatched it right up because I wanted to review it and I just wanted it for myself. Let's get real. I love La Shaw. These are all creams. They do such a great job with their cream formula. So I had high hopes that these little puppies would be just as good. Look at this interesting shade range in there. We have kind of like a mustardy yellow, green, blue, some neutrals. Really fun. This is, feels like a chill, like a chill summer collection. It's not super loud and vibrant. It's also, it's almost kind of like, mm, like a little bit of like a chicy retro. I don't know. It's really fun. So this um, video is actually including a giveaway. When I saw that this was up there on the website, it got me so excited and they're so budget friendly on that website. I picked up a second one, so this is gonna go to one of you. All you need to do is be subscribed and then I'll let you know a little bit here on in the video how you can win this little lady of six polishes. Um, if you haven't ever tried La Shaw before, the, the mini polishes is where it's at, I really do think. I love their full size polishes, don't get me wrong. I mean, I really enjoy uh, La Shaw a lot. So I wouldn't mind having everything in full size, but their mini size, it's kind of like a deluxe size of a mini because it's 7.4 milliliters. And that's, as I've mentioned before, the same size as Julep pretty much. And they are so budget friendly. These are less than a dollar on Trans Design this way. And it's like the same size as you pay for a Julep, which is like $14. Granted, Julep does proclaim that they have their oxygenated nail polishes is going to help your nails. I don't think La Shaw is making any kind of claims like that. They're not claiming to be the best luxury nail polish or whatever. Um, but you're getting such a good bang for your buck. They're a little bit of a taller mini. So if you look actually in comparison to like the OPI, so cute, these little family of minis. But see what the kind of size difference is that you're getting there? I don't see. Let's see. OPI says 3.75 milliliters. So you're actually getting twice as much in the La Shaws as you are in these little OPI minis. And the brush is a little bit more manageable. It's longer, so it's it's easier to hold on to. I just really like the minis. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the six polishes in this collection. On my lips today is this ColourPop Libby. It's called Best Hug, and it's a cream formula, and I received this from my girl pal. Thanks, pal. Um, it's really comfortable to wear. I just love how easy these lippy sticks are to apply. So that's what that is. Let's get into it. Shall we start with what's on my nails? Let's go ahead and do that. So they put two neutrals in this collection. And this one is kind of, it, it's like a little berry toned neutral. It's really interesting. It's called Cabana Cove. And I like it for that aspect because I feel like it has a little bit of berry in it, but I still feel like I'm wearing a brown polish. Hmm, kind of very 90s-esque. So I'm really enjoying this. Let's see how it swatches. As you saw, that last neutral polish was great at two coats. There's another one that's good at two coats. So another neutral, but this one's lighter, kind of a sandy, um, like a sandy tan. It's really lovely. It's called Nude Beach. Okay, so that's perfect. Nude Beach. This isn't my kind of nude, though. My kind of nude is like, where is that Essie White? <laughs> that's my kind of nude beach. Let's get real, people. But this is a gorgeous kind of nude beach. So this is lovely in two coats again. So yeah, let's take a look at Nude Beach.
let's take a look at the nude beach. I mean, when did you think you'd hear me say that? Okay, so let's move along. There are two polishes in here that actually dry flat. So we're gonna look at those two together. So the berry color here is called All That Sass. Okay, yeah. Loving the names on these polishes. Good job, Lashaw. All That Sass is a beautiful berry. It's a cream formula, but it dries flat, so I liked it best. Um, two to three coats. These two that dry flat maybe need three coats. I like, but they weren't unmanageable or anything, but I liked it uh, best with a top coat. So I'm gonna show you, the picture is gonna be with a top coat on it, and yeah, it's really pretty. The other one that dries kind of flat is this beautiful teal blue green. It's like a deeper teal. And it is called Riding Waves. Again, it's gonna dry non-glossy. It's gonna dry unglossy. It's gonna dry flat. So put a top coat on it if you'd like. Three coats for a nice opacity. Just delicious. I'm loving this color. Just this color and this color together in this collection is just yes, oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna sneak in here really quick and let you know what you need to do to win your own six packs of minis. So I know these are super budget friendly. You can just go on Trans Design and pick up your own. In fact, I encourage you to do so. I'm not affiliated with this brand, by the way, so I'm not getting paid to send you over there to buy these. I just really like this brand. They're like my pet brand. I love Lasha. Okay, so anyway, to win this, you of course need to be subscribed, but I also want you to let me know in the comments what your go-to shade is to wear for your pedicures for summertime. I wanna know what your favorite summer petty color is. I feel like everybody has like their go-to color. Some people it's white, some people it's just like a hot red, some people it's blue. Let me know what your favorite is. I'm totally interested to know. I wanna switch up my you know, my usual pedicure for summer. I wanna switch it up a little bit. So let me get, let me know what you guys' uh, go-to is or what your, uh, your new favorite is or old favorite, whatever you want to tell me, um, to be entered to win. And then I'm going to pick one of you guys at random that answered that question. And I will find out your info and send these to you. So yeah, let's keep on going with the swatches. That'll be our little sneak peek in here for all of you guys who actually watched the whole video, um, that you could win those polishes. All right. So two left and we have the very, the two very summery, interesting ones. These are the ones that made me feel kind of like 70s flashback these two colors together I, I saw some 90s in here and I saw some contemporary stuff and then these two make me think of the 70s okay let's start with this yellow this is really interesting this is kind of mustardy I thought it was a sunflower but it feels like very mustardy so it's called sunbeam this is nice I think that this actually does need three coats though yellows are notorious for needing more coats because it's a lighter polish and it's hard to get it super opaque without putting a ton of white in there so if you want it to have its true color it's kind of hard for it to be opaque I didn't mind having to do three coats on this though because the formula on these are all really nice they're not overly messy or overly thick or anything so I did do three coats on this so the picture you're looking at is going to be three but I think this swatch is nice and it's definitely an interesting color of yellow. I mean, definitely not a lot that I have in my collection is like this. So that feels kind of nice on my cheek. It's kind of kind of hot in here.
Okay, and last up we have this grassy green. It's a yellowy grassy green. This is called Lush Life. And yeah, it's pretty. I did two coats of this. I thought it was nice, it was fun, um, very playful. Okay, so that was the whole video. I hope you enter the giveaway if you want these. And if you don't win, um, they are totally worth the very small amount of money that these cost. So I encourage you to try La Shaw out if you haven't ever tried them before. This collection and, oh, their fall collections are so gorgeous. Sometimes, for me, their spring and their winter collection were just a little bit too light for me. There wasn't enough like that you could sink your teeth in for me. I really like those collections because I think that their formula is really great over at La Shaw. But for me, their summer and their fall collections are usually where they just hit a huge home run. Really enjoying these. I think my favorites, let's see, where's my favorites? I actually really loved this um, kind of berry brown nude that I have on my nails. So I think that one was my top favorite, believe it or not. And I really liked this yellow. I thought it was fun. But they're also great because, like I said, these two colors look so fun together. And then that green. Um, the green might be my least favorite. Just not my favorite kind of green to wear. But you know I love green polishes. So I know. Force myself to pick a favorite. Force myself. It's this brownie one. And then I also i am a sucker for yellow polish. So... Those are my favorites. I hope you had fun hanging out with me today. I hope you found this review helpful. If you have never given Lasha a second thought, go ahead and give them a second thought now. I think that they're great and definitely worth the price for these little babies. So I think that's it. Have a great day. Um, enter the giveaway and I will see you back for my next review. Bye guys. So my purple polish of the week is another Catrice Crushed Crystals. That's hard for me to say you guys. Catrice Crushed Crystals. This is called Plum Dog Millionaire. I always think that their names are really, really clever. This is, like I said, like the name says, it's a deep plum and it has fuchsia and blue in there.